The Forge and Fire judges has some of the craziest backgrounds and stories behind them that many simply don't know about. From how they got to the show, to their own personal issues, there are a lot of harsh truths regarding these judges. In today's video, we take a look at the dark truth about Forge and Fire judges. I'm an ABS master smith. I've been making knives for probably around 25 years or so. I was always fascinated by James Nelson. James Nelson, who goes by his first initial professionally, holds the rank of Master Smith with the American Blacksmith Society, also known as ABS. He has been with the show since season 1, episode 1, and although he hasn't been in every episode, he is still a prominent figure in the show and many love him. During season 3, fans worried that Jay had decided to leave the show when he was missing from the judges panel. However, not too long after, it was revealed that Nelson had to take a break due to medical complications that could have seriously put his life in danger. However, the dark truth is, it turns out Nielsen had to step down from his judging role to have surgery on his hand. So, another Abs master knife maker, Jason Knight, filled in for him while he recovered from his hand. At the time, there was little information about the details of James, and some fans even speculated that he left the show, and fans only knew that he was not in the show in Season 3. In a past interview, Nielsen revealed that his hand injury was not knife related, and happened about 8-9 to nine years ago from his surgery. Apparently, he slipped on the grass and fractured a small bone in his hand. Unfortunately, at the time, he didn't bother to treat the injury until much later, and it is what could be causing problems for him now that ultimately needed him to get surgery. The truth is, knife making is not so easy, nor is it something that could be done by anyone. It requires patience, accuracy, and a lot of attention. Since the machinery used to create these knives could seriously damage your skin, body, or even cause you to break bones. It could even burn you and cause so many other severe medical complications, and many people tend to overlook that. Moving towards his personal life, Jay Nielsen is a happily married man. He married his lovely wife, Becky Allen Nielsen, on January 2, 2013. Jay Nielsen has been married to his wife, Becky, for almost six years now. Their love and affection between each other are growing stronger with time. The lovely duo has not been involved in any extramarital affair as the bond they share between them is built on trust and loyalty, which is hard to find nowadays. In due course of time, Jay Nielsen and his wife, Becky Allen Nielsen, also became the proud parents of two children, one daughter, aged 17 years old, and son, aged 12 years old. The name of Jay Nielsen's children have not been revealed as of now, which shows how Nielsen is a truly private person and rather keeps his loved ones to himself rather than plastering them online. The dark truth is that many people online tend to cyberbully or make weird comments towards influencers that could seriously cause them to feel uncomfortable. When I was about 13, I grabbed a galvanized steel bucket and filled it with charcoal and put a hairdryer underneath and made myself my first board. Next up, we have Ben Abbott. Ben Abbott, age 48, is a judge on Forge and Fire, known as a two-time champion. He began making blades after seeing arms and armor in museums and castle all around England. He was around 13 years old when he started developing an interest in blades and armor. Ben then started making knives officially when he was about 17 years old as well as making other tools that could help him as well. He also made jewelry, furniture, and many other items. However, he was impressed when his first sword he ever made was the winning Kahanda sword for Forge and Fire. Viewers started to notice a slight British accent on Ben, and they'd soon be confirmed to be correct, as he wasn't born in California where he lives now. He was born in England, and moved to the United States when he was younger. Ben spent most of his childhood in America, 
but made sure to make regular visits to England to see his family and ultimately his origins and where his ancestors are from. In terms of his love life, he keeps most of it secret, much like other cast members. However, fans have been able to uncover certain details. Ben is married to choreographer, dancer, and artist Heather. She is the mother of his baby boy Alden, who was born on October 2020. They also have a dog called Willow. Unlike Judge Baker, who is used to the fast-paced Hollywood life, Judge Ben believes in taking one's time. Great works of art are born over time, as many say, and Ben is an ultimate example of that. This perhaps explains his obsession with ancient styles. When he's not shooting for television, Judge Ben works from a 240 square feet forge in his home, doing what he loves and ultimately doing what makes him happy. This is Doug Markaita. I'm an edge impact weapons specialist, a Filipino martial arts practitioner. I've been doing this for over 25 years. Judge Doug. As mentioned before, becoming a reality TV star wasn't exactly in Doug's plans. As usual though, life had something else in store for him. That being said, Forge and Fire is the only TV show he's ever been a part of, reality or otherwise not. There's nothing to indicate that he has an interest in making a long-term career out of being a television star despite him having the attention and love of many fans. Doug was born and raised in the Philippines. He is very proud of his roots, however. He relocated to the United States when he was a teenager. No matter how much time he spends away from his home country, the Philippines is a place that will always be near and dear to his heart. Martial arts has been a major part of Doug's life for many years. During an interview with Off Grid Web, he stated, I started as a kid with the basics of karate, kickboxing, and taekwondo, but it was always a side hobby. It wasn't until I discovered Filipino martial arts in my mid-twenties that I really became serious about training. I am a blacksmith, I'm a bladesmith. I wanted to forge blades when I was just a little kid. My dad would read me Edgar Rice Burroughs. And Judge Jason. Judge Jason's night's involvement with knives is largely attributed to his dad. As a young boy, most of his bedtime stories were less about fairy tales and had more to do with dragons and giants. The make-believe world led him to crafting wooden swords. This ushered him into a new world. When he was in high school, he attempted to make his first knife, and since then, he has been improving and proving to eventually get to the point where he is on Forged in Fire. 